Hey, it's Spencer. I'm out here in the Agro Forest. I'm going to be showing you what we're working on today. Today's going to be a big management day. We're working on taking down as many of these large naturalized trees as possible. Um, so let's just show you real quick what's going on back here. So we've got all these trees here. Uh, this is along the edge of our Agro Forest um, where we've got some coconuts and stuff. So you can see all these older naturalized trees. Uh, some of them are about 35 feet tall, 32 meters or so. Or sorry, uh, 12 meters or so. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to come take down as many as possible. Um, we're going to be taking down that ironwood, right? Can't quite really even see it. Right here first. Uh, that's probably the tallest tree over here. It's probably the heaviest tree over here. So we're going to be dropping that into these other trees over here. Um, so that it's not smashing too much over there. Um, yeah, it's kind of, uh, we let things go a little bit too long out here. So we just need to come and take these trees down. Um, we're probably not going to get it all mulched into these rows today. Uh, it's just going to be too much work, but tomorrow we'll end up probably coming and finishing it up. Um, so yeah, we'll just kind of see how it goes as it's going. We don't have that great of a plan at the moment. It's kind of, there's a lot of material up there. So it's, it's going to be like figured out as, as it happens when I start chainsawing, then I can like really figure out what our methodology is going to be here. But, uh, the point's going to be to put as much material on this row here and on that next row there. Um, cause those are going to be easily accessible to pull the material over there. We've also got another zone over here with some casusus and jackfruits. Um, and we might end up pulling to our other side of the coconut row if we have that much material. So it's going to be a big day. There's a lot of stuff up here. Uh, we'll show you a time lapse of it and then we'll talk about it. Um, kind of either as we go along or maybe we'll just make a video at the end. All right, let's get to it. Update on our progress for our project here. Um, we've got some compost piles. So this is where we had all those naturalized trees that we cut down. Uh, we stopped right here. I'll talk about that in a moment when I get over there. Uh, so we cut the stuff from over here. We threw it over the fence line, put it onto our side, um, uh, our agroforestry side. And then we've got these logs here. We'll cut them up and we'll disperse them as well. And then while I was cutting material and throwing it over the fence, Julie was taking the material from these piles over here and putting it over here. Um, so we've got a bunch of uh, material to work with. Um, this is that spot earlier where we looked up. We saw that other vegetation. Now there's nothing. Um, just, you know, the small melastomas and stuff. Some of these trees here I didn't cut yet because I ran out of energy, so we just kind of finished with some of the bigger trees over there. Um, we'll come back and get these ones tomorrow probably. Um, and then there's more work back there tomorrow. Uh, but we can see we've got some nice big logs. Right, like real size logs. Um, so we're gonna take all this material and disperse it onto this row and this row on the edges. So we're gonna fatten them up and then we're gonna chop all of this material with the chainsaw and add it also into there. So basically all of this material, you know, this is, well, that's uh, three and a half feet tall right there. So we've got a ton of material here. More here and more there. So we're gonna disperse it and we'll do a time lapse of that and then uh, we'll do some more work tomorrow and then we'll continue the video. All right.
already we're out here day two of our management i'm going to show you what we're what we're working on what we did yesterday um in the time lapse we came through and we worked put all the mulch on the sides over here of these rows uh so we cleared this out so we got a nice nice lane here we have fat fat piles here uh two and a half feet tall along the edge of the row kind of both sides um we can just kind of walk down check them out Um, I also came through and cut out most of these trees in the middle of the inner row here. I'm actually going to take this one out also. Uh, this one's an ironwood. I'm uh, just trying to clear it out, give myself some more space and stuff. Um, and then we're going to come through now and cut these trees. These trees. And then we're going to come back over here. And take down all of these trees. Um, so I'm going to work from the back forward towards our row um, because I'm going to use those other trees to capture each other so that, that way it's not landing on our row over here, right? We don't want to smash these coconuts. Um, the canes don't matter so much, but they'll just regrow. Uh, but there's definitely going to be a lot of weight over here in some of these taller, bigger diameter trees. Um, so yeah, there'll be some smashing and stuff, but... It shouldn't be too big a deal and it's just basically we're going to come and take out as much of this as possible pull it over here mulch it over here on this side where i didn't get to you can tell here is where we kind of ended here and here um, so what we're doing is we're cutting cutting the trees down i'm doing one tree at a time i'm piecing it and i'm throwing it over the fence line and then julie's grabbing it and pulling it over here um, it's a little bit chaotic the work um, it's a lot of effort uh, not the most ideal situation hauling all this material, but we figure it's better to get it into our system rather than to just leave it over there. Um, so yeah, fence lines are kind of hard to work with, but it's not that big a deal. We can just piece it, throw it over. Um, yeah, I guess I'll kind of show you what we we're going to do. So we're going to take, we're going to open up some gaps right along the fence line so we can throw the material back onto this side. So kind of like we have right here. there's a gap this is where we threw a bunch of material from that side over onto this side and then we were able to get it over here um so we got nice fat mulch over here we're going to continue over there and then we need to do that whole side of the row uh, so yeah a lot more chainsawing um a little bit of things to be careful about dropping on but for the most part it shouldn't be too big a deal just dropping the big trees into the other trees uh, the smaller trees to get them down to stop damage um, all right, let's get to it. I'm going to show you a little bit of a progress update here. Been working on the rows here. Uh, we got these trees cut down. So now there's nothing over here shading anything. Uh, we started stacking some material here. So we got our logs. So we've got logs already going, <clears throat> going in here. Older ones. So we didn't need to add any logs in there. So we started building out with our logs. Some nice larger ones. <clears throat> As you can see, we're stacked down the whole row. And then we're gonna come and take the other material and put it on top of that. So we've got a couple piles over here like this. I'm gonna come through with the chainsaw and chop, 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 chop. Then we can put that onto the row. Um, got another pile here. Same thing, chop, chop, chop. Nice logs. And we got this pile here, nice big one. And then in this other row, let me just step over. We've got our logs out to the end of the row there, to the end of the row there. 
So we need to chop up this material, put it here, put it there, and do the same over here. And then, oh, I guess we've got one more pile over there. And then we'll be done with our management. Uh, so this was a ton of work. Uh, there's so many trees were here and we did end up having uh, to leave a few. I just didn't want to continue pushing into the bush because it's just, uh, it's a lot of work to continue pushing into that like that. Um, so we'll get them down another day, but it doesn't matter so much. They're not influencing the, the system that much at the moment because they're so far away. They're not going to be shading. They're not even that tall, so not a big deal. And then, uh, yeah, it's there's already more wind flow. Uh, it's going to be a lot of sun coming through here. Got just one more tree to cut down, that ironwood right there. And then, uh, yeah, this is this is really exciting, this management here. Like, this is so much mulch, you know, tree mulch that's going to last a while. So that's, we're starting to step into, you know, something, something really interesting is happening with all this mulch. So we'll do an update uh, when we're finished with all the work. I'm out here back again in the agroforest. Uh, it's about a week later after we finished that last management. Uh, I just was really busy, didn't have time to come out here and make a video. Um, but I'm gonna just be talking about what we did and just show you around a little bit what's happening here. Um, so this was that big management come, took all those trees down, put them over here. I guess we just wanna show off how much uh, mulch we got here. And then the other thing we did was we came and we cleared this whole line here along the fence line between the row and the fence. And we cupped a couple trees here, still kind of pondering how I want to manage those. I might cut them down, uh, I might leave them, not 100% sure at this exact moment. And then we're going to come and we're going to plant 20 new clumps of sugarcane along this area here. Um, so that's going to give us some nice good sunlight, right? We don't have all those trees covering us anymore. It's super sunny out here right now. It's kind of hot and intense. Um, so yeah, we'll have our cane zone here. We'll obviously have these canes here and then our coconuts right here. And then we can see all this mulch that we put down here. So the mulch is already dried up, um, but we can tell the height of the mulch still, it hasn't compressed really, right? This is oh, 18 inches off the ground here. Um, yeah, we can see that side's a little higher. We'll go over there in a half a second. Um, so tree mulching really lasts a lot longer than the grass mulching. So we finally got to the point where we're adding a ton of material. So we really don't, need to mulch this you know every month like we were doing before we can go on a little bit of a slower timeline because we have this more woody material that's going to take longer to decompose um so yeah it's uh let's go down the other inner row over here so we can kind of see everything that's going on so this is this is over two feet tall right here this part of the mulch um so yeah we're doing awesome out here <clears throat> and we put all of the material in the edges and then we cut it up. And so we've got all kinds of different size pieces out here. Um, and we put our biggest logs down on the ground like I showed in that previous video. So the logs will be decomposing on the ground. The stuff will be decomposing above it. So we've pretty much created a compost pile along the entire edge of our rows. Big fat ones that are gonna take a long time to decompose. Um, and then our grasses are just starting to come back in a little bit, which is perfect. Um, our inner rows are getting a little bit more narrow, but that's just what it's going to be. And basically, we're just going to keep adding to that pile over and over and over until it gets thicker and bigger. And basically, until we have so much mulch out here that we don't, we can't even walk around, right? Um, so yeah, let's just check out what we got on this side. We got our ironwood over here, just tons of mulch. The trees are looking great, right? We got our ancalas are popping. 
chupa chupa looking awesome little sunburnt but you know that's kind of what happens when you cut down the shade um yeah and then we can kind of see in there we've got mombasa grass then our whole tree system over here um so yeah this feels really good out here to have this like heavy management um all this extra sunlight these canes are going to be super stoked um and then we're happy to get some more spots to plant some more cane because it's it's hard to get the good sunlight um, and then we didn't kill any of those trees on that side of the fence line. Um, kind of figure out how we want to manage those over time. We did let them go a little too long. They took about... So we cut every single one of these trees when we put up our fence line before we planted our rows. That was about two years ago. So it's just that was all just regrow. So things grew about 40 feet, uh, 35, 40 feet in about two years from trees that had already been cut. Um, so things grow quickly. Uh, but obviously we shouldn't wait two years um, to remanage those trees. And also if we're putting the canes here, we're going to have to manage it more readily, more often, because we need that extra sunlight. Um, so yeah, I'm super happy. It's a ton of mulch. It's like the whole, the whole game here is mulch, as much mulch as possible. And we're doing good. Um, so now we've got, you know, just so much diversity up in here. Alrighty, so that'll be it for that update, and um, we'll probably do a new one when we put, plant out the canes uh, in a couple days here, a uh, new video. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.